beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed the father God so loved the world. That was his motivation. His motivation was love. His motivation was not power. His motivation was love. His motivation was not influence. His motivation was love, not self. So for God so loved the world. And he proved that love by giving Jesus his son. Are we together? You will be surprised that many believers don't even know about this story. That God so loved the world and he gave Jesus. Why did he give Jesus? Not just so that we will be saved. Jesus came as many things. Number one, he came as an example of what it means to be led by the Spirit. Because that's the condition to be a son of God. So he came as a sample. Until then, no one had demonstrated sonship to the degree that satisfied the heart of the Father. Are we together now? So Jesus came to show us the way to please the Father. Jesus came as a substitute. He eventually will be a substitute in what we call his passion. The journey that started from the upper room where the communion was that's not what i'm teaching tonight it's just important for us to have this background that the substitutionary sacrifice of jesus did not start on the cross he started on the upper room then the upper room and then from there to gethsemane and then the cross and then the grave and then the throne not the sky remember the song says from the grave to the sky no from the grave right to the throne the lord said to my lord sit down at my right hand not hang around the air until i know what to do with you the lord there was a real coronation service that happened are we together but the story is not really where it's not the point of advantage it is the opportunity for man to understand that message and respond to it that whosoever beautiful statement whosoever there are some things in scripture that are not for whosoever therefore there are specific conditions but when it has to do with the substitutionary sacrifice of christ he says whosoever believes in him should not perish but have zoe not just life everlasting not just eternal life but the life of god are we together so that that's the privilege um, that we stand to enjoy and then in addition to that we are now open please listen in addition to just receiving the life of god we have become one with him by the spirit these are the basic doctrines of the christian faith you are not a christian if you don't understand this doesn't matter if you can raise the dead if you do not understand these foundational truths these are the pillars of the christian faith 
Praise the Lord. Then we now begin to explore in detail the advantage. Listen to my communication. The advantage of Jesus in our life. There is, there is a real advantage. And one of it, Paul was teaching the church in Ephesus. Chapter 1, please give it to us again, media. Verse 3. He now says, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Which Lord Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ who died and now had become Lord. That's why you see the word Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord, the Master, the exalted Jesus Christ. Not just the one that walked upon the earth. The one who is now exalted. Who had blessed us. Are you seeing? He didn't just die. So the Father, through Jesus, had blessed us with all spiritual blessings. But the nature of this blessing is that they are spiritual in context. They reside in the heavenly places. And that you will only access them through Christ. Meaning, if you do not encounter Jesus Christ, you cannot have these blessings. There are many believers who do not love Jesus and are not interested in him, but will continue to insist that they must partake of everything that has to do with the faith life. It starts with Jesus. It starts with Jesus. The Alpha, remember our teaching? The Omega. Alpha, Omega. Starts with Jesus. So let's go to First Peter now. Chapter 2. Celebrating Easter is useless until we are able to understand the advantage of that which Christ has done and to engage with understanding the systems that will bring us into that experience. So we continue to press by faith as faithful students in the school of the Spirit, trusting the Holy Spirit to guide us day by day and hour by hour to a point of comprehension where we will know God desires that we know and that we walk in the experience of that knowledge. First Peter chapter 2 from verse 9. Let's read together. One to read. But ye are a chosen generation, uh -huh. a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people. Stop. Peter, the apostle, is teaching here. And he's reminding us that we are not only believers. Are we together? That the scope of the sacrifice of Christ does not just make us believers. But that in addition to believers, we are all these. A chosen generation. Not just a generation, a select generation. Number two, he calls us a royal priesthood. A mix of kings and priests. That we are both kings and we are priests. Remember Revelation 5 and verse 10 tells us also on this. And then he says we are a holy nation. A nation of people. And then he says we are a peculiar people. Then he says that we should show forth the praises of him who has called us. Who is the him? Jesus. Jesus who called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Let's, let's stay here a bit. You need to understand this. Don't trivialize this because your victory depends on it. To show forth the praises of a man who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light many of us understand what we are being called out of but we do not understand what we are being called into we have taken our time to study what we are being called out of we know we understand the length and the breadth of what he has called us out of but the bible never said that he called us out and left us he called us out of a dimension and a realm then into another one Marvelous light, marvelous light, marvelous light. This statement, marvelous light, is what qualifies us to be called a chosen generation. Please listen. A royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. 
that means take away the experience of marvelous light we cannot be all of this the presence and our access to this mystery that the bible calls marvelous light are we together now you need to understand that this marvelous light we are talking about um light in scripture is symbolic of illumination knowledge truth are we together so when the bible says marvelous light here it means a body of knowledge finite spiritual knowledge please you have to understand this it doesn't just mean any spiritual knowledge that means there is an exact combination of spiritual knowledge that is equal to marvelous light just because you gather any spiritual truth it doesn't equal marvelous light it may equal light but there is a spiritual combination hidden here that if you possess that body of knowledge and you apply it you must reflect these possibilities a manifestation of a life that is a chosen generation a peculiar personality are we together they will see the king priest dimension working in its apex marvelous light that's a secret there marvelous light my accessing the light you know when i started out with the lord i thought that every truth of the kingdom was equally valuable and it seemed like a sin to believe that some truth you know people say truth is truth that is true in terms of the origin and the purity of it but in terms of its stratification and its assignment no sir no sir there are many lights but there are two great lights it is possible to have 10 of certain information but you can have one of another kind of information and just that one that you have will surpass by far the effect that will be in your life by accessing these things so please you need to understand that you are not just growing because you are encountering truth you have to grow when you encounter certain kinds of truth designed to produce an effect in your spiritual life all scripture the bible says is written by the holy ghost is profitable it says holy men wrote as they were moved by the spirit is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction in righteousness and so on and so forth so any dimension of truth you find in scripture will have some value to your life but as far as being exceptional remember you are mandated to show the praises of god that means that the gospel rendition of this is let your light so shine before men that they might see your good deeds and glorify notice how god continues to desire the praise and the glorification that not just comes from singing comes from a standard of excellence and a standard of life that the saints emit and the secret to that possibility is marvelous light there are many believers who want to be great there are many believers who want to be anointed there are many believers who want to go far there are many believers who want to have influence and we continue to guess around spiritual principles that we think may lead us to these truths and here and there there are books that are written across and they seem to supply some level of value but let me tell you this one of the greatest blessings that can happen to a believer is that you find a man or you find a platform that handpicks the spiritual principles that are allocated for your victory and feeds you with it like you have a plethora you have a buffet of spiritual principles and not all of them believe me now please don't misunderstand what i'm saying not all of them have equal value as far as your relevance and your producing glory is concerned no there are certain truths that if you don't know regardless of the ones you know it will still look like jesus is not lord over your life just because you cooked well and you didn't put salt or something it may look well but it would taste not the way it's supposed to taste are we together now yes 
There are many believers who continue to pride in the fact that they are accumulating spiritual information. And many of the information that that is being accumulated, number one, it's not being vetted. Number two, it's not arranged systematically. Do you know that truth does not just bless? The arrangement, the order of truth matters. Like a spiritual house. Look at this room for instance. Imagine that we pick the zinc and we put it immediately after the foundation. You don't have a house. The order and the arrangement matters. It is in the arrangement that the house is produced. Just because you have the materials, the spiritual combination of these truths to the end that it produces this is where many believers default. So here and there we can say, I know this, I know this, I know that, but at what point in your spiritual journey do you need this? Are we together? So when truths are dispensed, we are not just giving you head knowledge. We are also arranging it and rearranging it so that it can now be useful and productive to our lives. If you are with me, please say amen. amen. There are people today who have been around church for a long time, but they may never be anointed because of how they were taught. Never, never. They may never walk in the anointing because of how they were taught. Now, the same thing you know about the anointing, they have been taught, but the arrangement will not produce the anointing in their lives. There are believers, for instance, the, the moment they get born again, the next subject they hear is prosperity and money. That kind of arrangement is not only bad, it's dangerous. Now, that is truth, but because of the way it was arranged, you cannot call it marvelous light. It will, it will create a lopsided Christian, a lost driven Christian. Are we together? The language of sacrifice, the language of service will not be in the dictionary of that kind of Christian. The entire scope of his understanding about God is someone who just blessed us to enjoy. And that's not a good philosophy because when you sell that idea to that believer, eventually, when things do not change and things do not square up, he will leave God in a heartbeat. Because you have told him that the primary purpose for his encounter with Christ is just for him to enjoy. Now, that does not mean that this dimension is not in the dealings of God, but it's too early. There are things that the believer needs to know and appreciate before the subject of prosperity comes in. There are many believers today who keep shouting, Oh God, why me? It's because they have not been taught. They have been taught that when believers face challenges, it is proof that they don't have faith. You see, that's why I'm saying it's important you are taught. So when they lose loved ones or something tragic happens, like the dear lady who said armed robbers came to their house, I hope you know that's not a Muslim. That's a Christian. Many Christians today cannot explain when something very sad and tragic happens to people who love God, they search around and the arrangement of the doctrine that was given them does not allow an explanation to certain situations. I don't know if you are following me tonight. So when the man of God comes now, there is a dead body lying there. And they say, what happened? My father served the Lord. He even died serving Jesus. And then the man of God is, is in confusion right now because all you have taught them and the way you have taught them is that whatsoever happens that is negative, listen very carefully, in it, God cannot be praised and you have to be blamed and all of that and all of that and he cannot find glory in anything that is negative. That believer is confused. I love God. My father loved God. My mother loved God, but he still died. But there is something you can teach that believer that like Job, you can teach him that the true victory of a believer sometimes is not in what you have gotten, but in your love for God, even when you don't get some things, that they are all called faith. That faith is not always about things coming. It takes faith to lose things too. By faith, Abel offered. It's not always about coming. 
our concept of faith is that things must come but i'm teaching you that there is a dimension of faith where you can lay things down it says some women received their death to life it says others died and didn't come back to life and all of them he joined it and called it faith are you saying that it matters how you are educated spiritually so every time you engage your faith it is always for things to come just because the bible says faith cometh. no are we together yes so believers have a lot of gaps in their lives and they cannot give god praise they don't know how to joy and sorrow in persecution when a believer is persecuted he does not understand but in scripture it says count it all joy my brethren are we not bible students again when you face diverse tribulations it says knowing this that the trying of your faith so what is being tried your faith listen to what i'm telling you it's very very important you are a christian and your car breaks down and now someone stands and says where is your faith your car just broke down now please i'm a man of faith and they make you feel guilty you stand in front of that car you are sad you are angry you are even ashamed to call a mechanic you would have called a mechanic in 30 minutes to fix that car but because your ego has been provoked you can stroll to the back of that car and lie down there and say god prove yourself you see because you have been taught that if that does not happen it's, it's a sign that you're, you are not growing spiritually our indices to measure spiritual growth is very poor and very terrible i don't know if someone is getting blessed tonight just follow what i'm teaching you there are many people who have become poor in church today because they continue to press to realms they have not gotten to as a proof that they are people of faith because something about our teaching has jumped the law of process and so we teach people that if it is god yes jehovah sharp sharp is alive but let me tell you the way the tree grows i mean the dealings of god in our environment should teach us how god builds when a woman carries seed no matter how anointed she is including mary jesus grew slowly in mary's stomach not even his being the word suddenly made him an adult and he said mary i want to come out he grew slowly so it is spiritual to subscribe to the law of process so you find people under pressure i must buy this car this year i must buy this cloth this year i must go around 10 countries this year and sometimes we lost driven men of god help to endorse this kind of futile agenda oh let me pray for you if you don't go around 10 countries this year you are not a christian if you don't do this you are not a christian and we propose please don't get me wrong i'm not saying that god cannot make for these things remember it's our year of extraordinary fruitfulness it is true that there are truths when you know they will set you free there are things when you don't know you will remain in bondage forever hallelujah so if you see a brother now with his 200 naira trouser his 1000 naira shirt you know if god tells you that brother is a man of faith you will not believe because our definition of faith is that the results must be there to show and it's very dangerous because there are people who are doing well but they leave their well-doing and compromise on that understanding because they are searching for results there are many wealthy people who don't have faith but simply because of the abundance of physical results you may think that that already means a lot of faith let me tell you this it matters how you are taught the ways of God it matters the beauty of your life will not come just because you have truth it must be arranged to be profitable when all else fell for Job he had a solid foundation you know many times when we read the book of Job we don't understand the entire scope do you know what it meant 
for Job to be there and those who once depended on him will pass and look at him and say, my God, look at this man, look at your wife, look at your useless life, dogs are licking your sores. Didn't I teach you that when God is silent, he's speaking and that you must learn what he's saying when he's silent. God, why are you not talking? And God replies and says, understand what I'm saying. When I'm silent, it is a voice. Hallelujah. Let me tell you this. I truly live a very peaceful life. And the peace that is in my life has come from knowledge. There are things that I have learned and I have known about God that has culminated to stability and rest. This Sabbath, you see, you don't enter into it just haphazardly. There is a body of knowledge that will bring you into your Sabbath and you can rest. You can lie down in a boat that is boisterous and like Jesus, you are sleeping. You can stand before Goliath and know Goliath is going down. What do you know about this Jesus that we celebrate and his word? that can stand the times and the days that are coming then let's flip to the positive side what do you know about the word that is responsible for results in your life if i ask you to stand up today at random and i say tell me the principles you know in the dealings of god with men that provide for results what will you say I wish I had the time would have run a mic just on three or four people. Just at random. And I say, are you a believer? Yes. Born again? Yes. Filled with the Holy Spirit? Yes. You can even pray in tongues. Let's see if you want to. And then I will now ask you, I'll say, now with, with, your, with your knowledge, become a lecturer, become a mentor in five minutes and coach us on the pathway to victory. How do you guide a person who needs restoration in his life? What do you know about God? What is the system in the kingdom that is allocated for that outcome? Or are you just going to guess and hope and say, well, just pray. I know prayer answers. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. He was in the temple. He was not praying. He was studying. There were many times he did other things. Prayer is a key, not the key, a key. There are many other keys. And if all you have is one key, you will only enter one part of a house. And sometimes that even that house, that part you enter may not be where you are looking for. If you have the key to a toilet and you are hungry, you are in trouble. You have a key. But there is nothing in a toilet that will solve your current predicament are we together and sometimes the way you open the door to a kitchen is not the way you you can just turn it once and the door of a toilet is open but sometimes the door of a kitchen may require opening up and down then you push systematically if you don't know it there is bread in the kitchen so God will tell you there is bread in the kitchen, but you are dying of hunger because of understanding. You know, if we spend half the time, my brothers and my sisters, that we use shadow boxing and guessing around and become like Mary, Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things, but one thing is needful to just stay and say lord show me this thing show me this thing it may take time but guide me spirit of the living god you are here to guide me any spiritual knowledge that does not translate eventually into your victory are we together now and the advancement of god's kingdom and your progressive knowledge of god is completely useless completely useless just because it is spiritual in context does not mean it's useful to your life and your destiny hallelujah so what do you know and what do you not know 
the entire prayer and fasting will be a time of dishing out spiritual truths. Let me tell you, there is no hope for a man who rejects the understanding of the ways of God. That is a truly hopeless man. There's nothing you can do. Even deliverance, I've taught you, there is a dimension of deliverance that is not conducted. It is preached. It is it to preach deliverance to the captives. So there is a dimension of deliverance that is preached. It is not the demon that needs to hear that message. It is you. There is a particular part of deliverance that is for the demon. It's not for you. So the demon hears the conversation and he's supposed to respond to it. But there is a dimension that is for you. You are the one who should hear. God calls both deliverance. So if it's only the demon that is hearing, you are still in trouble. Because both the demon and you should hear something eventually. To preach deliverance to the captives. So if I cast out that devil and it leaves you, and you remain like that, I guarantee you, my brothers and my sisters, you will never be sustainably free. And it takes a long time to build conviction. Don't think one conference is enough to impart conviction. It took a long time for the build up of the error to stay in our minds. It takes a long time. I now understand why great men like Kenneth E. Hagin and all these fathers of faith will stay around certain subjects for many years. They were creating convictions. Notice that some of the churches that we admire the widespread spiritual understanding is because of a level of focus and intentional teaching of certain dimensions of the kingdom again and again so that the average member can come into that comprehension and come into that understanding we continue to make ourselves victims I'm sharing my heart with you because as I look around, you know, people just as powerful as, you know, people like uh, Ima, Ima came to share that he went to stand near my wall to touch. That There's a dimension of God's grace there. But you see, the truth is that a day will come. You will be somewhere where you, you, it has to be your personal knowledge of God. Nigerian believers are very lazy. We like to connect with things that quickly bring acceleration. It's a system of God's mercy to help you receive results while you learn. Because if God waits for the result to reflect your current knowledge, you may never grow. So he gives you an opportunity to tap into possibilities that are higher than your level of transformation. So that while you are enjoying the result, you can take time to grow. Because he knows that growth takes time. So just because you are receiving results by partnering with a grace, it is not a license to remain spiritually down. You have to rise so that one day it is your own grace and work with God that will help another believer. Imagine if Jacob stopped at the God of Isaac and the God of Abraham. Today we will be robbed of a dimension that his knowledge of God has provided for us. Are we together? Spiritual knowledge. That we are a peculiar people because of this. The one pursuit that you must make, and I'll talk a little about that shortly. This year is to cry for light. Light. Illumination. Light. Light. Open up my eyes. Light my lamp. God is not a herbalist. He's a miracle worker, but he's not a herbalist. He will require partnership from you through understanding for you to get any results. Whatever it is that God has done in and through this ministry that is worth giving him glory for came by partnership through understanding. Faith cannot be faith until it is sponsored by understanding. The foundation of faith is understanding. You have to know the systems that are allocated for the results that you desire. Then when you are convicted about it, then you act in accordance to what has been told you. And then you will receive results. Very, very important. Luke chapter 19 from verse 41. 
one of the two reasons why Jesus wept Jesus did not just weep in the grave of Lazarus alone but Jesus wept and when he was come near he beheld the city now he sees beholding a city and did what wept over it now if Jesus is crying over something you need to find out what he's crying about next verse saying this is why he's weeping if thou hast known even thou at least in this thy day the things which belong unto your peace this is why Jesus is crying he says but now they are hid from your eyes imagine Jesus looking at you and crying and saying I wish you knew this I wish you knew this I wish you knew this have you I don't know if this has happened to you that you misplaced something or maybe you are looking for your handkerchief and it's on your shoulder and you are going from room to room in anger and waiting to see someone with it so that you will injure the person suddenly you'll find out that it was that person was you the things that pertain unto your peace the things that pertain unto your peace so there are things that pertain unto peace there is a science to your peace there are equations that make for your peace your peace there talks of your prosperity your greatness your health your longevity your well-being the things not the thing the things is a body of knowledge that pertain unto your peace he says but now they are hid from you there is what you can know and your church will never remain small it doesn't matter the darkness in the land it is your knowledge there is what you know that you will never beg forever till Jesus comes it is true sponsored by knowledge there is what you will know that will command favor and the help of men to your life forever there is what you know that it doesn't matter the negative things that happen to you there is a system to turn it around for your good Jesus wept over that city let me show you a scripture Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 2 Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 2 please read it with me the people that walked in darkness have seen a not just a light and then it says they that dwell in the land of the sh how can a man dwell here is that an a habitable place he said but there are people that dwell in the land of the shadow of death upon them what happened the light shined notice that the solution to this category of people is light those who walked in darkness a version says they that sat in darkness sat in darkness sitting is a state of rest that means you are not even aware that it is darkness until the light comes he says they have seen a great light and then he says that those that have dwelt in the land of the shadow of death upon them light has shined that means every time there is darkness in your life and you cry god answers you the official way of answering prayer is sending light that's how God sends light. His anointing is in his light. If you reject his light, you will never, never access the power that helps people. Please understand what I'm teaching. Apostle, why are things going on like this in my life? The answer will be light. There is a dimension of God's light. Why will my finances not rise? There is a dimension of light why am i not excelling in life and ministry there is a dimension of light so when god wants to help a man let me show you how he helps a man his light comes come my dear and he brings you out he brings you out watch this he's bringing you out of darkness the coming of his light is your deliverance no matter what happens to you if light has not come you are not free if you like go out once there is no light you are not free spiritual illumination 
as God's system of deliverance. He said, I am the light of the world. Then later on, he says, ye are the light of the world. That means we help the world, not just by building structures, but by introducing an understanding. Listen, the assignment of believers is not just to build physical structures. Remember, the kingdom is a spiritual kingdom. The first, you help men, not just by doing physical things. Please listen to me. If I give this guy 1,000 naira, money is physical. And anything physical is finite. You help this brother by introducing light. Are we together now? When the light of God comes... It is able to translate this gentleman and activate possibility in it, possibilities in his life. So you knew him to be someone who is standing here. Remember years ago, this gentleman was holding his admission letter. And today, he's a doctor. Authorized to be able to handle whatever situation within the level of his knowledge. Light. There are some dimensions that even as a doctor, he cannot handle now. If another kind of light comes, it will move him forward. We move forward by light. We move forward, my brothers and my sisters, by light. We increase by light. So when Satan wants to destroy you, what do you think is the easiest way to destroy you? To find a way to do something to the light or to do something to you. The easier one is to do something to you so that you can make the word of God of non-effect. Are we together now? This is what has happened to so many people. There are people who will hear the things I'm saying now and think that, oh, this is it really important. But look at the situations in their life. Do you know, let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, in as much as we continue to pray here at the miracle service, and I will keep doing it all my life and with all my heart, but let me tell you, the sustainable way of victory is to command your result by knowledge when you obtain a result that was not sponsored by knowledge you will fear the result because you know it will not last are we together now yes so this gentleman is here at the mercy of light this dear lady is here at the mercy of light my brother is here at the mercy of light oh god change my life and God says, then open up your heart to light. And if Satan wants to confuse you and sees that you have made up your mind to get light, he can bring not the light you need. He will allow light come, but it's not the light that will solve your problem. So you can get a book and be reading and learning. Mm, wow, you are nodding your head, but you will still remain there. And you find out that the light you are receiving now is not needed for the situation illumination they that walked in darkness have seen a great light a great light let's look at a parable that jesus gave uh, and then we'll come back here jesus gave a very interesting parable luke chapter 15 please luke chapter 15 from verse 8 to 10 notice if you read the entire luke chapter um, 15 it 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 reveals the kingdom as something that was missing and found missing and found three parables were in that luke chapter 15 including that of the prodigal son so the and it it now gives the kingdom a similitude of something that was lost and then found something that was lost and then found this is one of the parables it says either what woman having 10 pieces of silver and if she lose one dot not what look at how the woman is approaching a problem now once upon a time she had 10 pieces of silver and then one got missing it's a representation of a dimension and look at how the woman recovers she does not just go around carelessly she knows it is somewhere but she needs to be specific she lights a candle and then she will use the light of the candle to do what to start sweeping the house and seek diligently by light till she finds it and seek diligently sweeping is not alone it's not enough you must seek diligently passionately lord there has to be a way 
you open scripture and you are crying out your heart and then light comes there's one thing i know about light when your light comes you must arise it is true it is true if you remain in a position the solution is not the strength of satan my brothers and my sisters the solution is light or enough light she has 10 pieces of silver she loses one and what happens she lights a candle neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel this woman is going around i must find the coin i thought she has nine more the same way if she doesn't master how to find coins the ninth one will lose the eighth one are you seeing the deception i like this woman whoever she is is a wise woman you don't wait till you have two coins left before you will not have the motivation to find it the moment one was missing she said i won't give life a chance whatever made the first one fall will make the second one fall until i master how to find it now the woman found what was missing let me tell you how satan deceives us one area of your life may not be doing well and many areas are doing well and you say it doesn't matter you won't give it the diligence then another area is not doing well it doesn't matter i won't give it diligence then another area is not doing well it doesn't matter are you seeing usually the areas you are focusing on satan will not touch it first he will touch the areas you will run to when he touches that one when he's done then eventually something happens and you turn and find out that eight or nine areas are gone but there are people when one thing is not going on well your bible lord there has to be light there must be a way there must be a way revelations don't just come when you pray revelation comes when you stay you stay prayer alone does not bring you see there are many people let me tell you this any successful person will tell you there is a place of diligence and there is the labor dimension of god's word i wish that anything you are looking for you will just find overnight no there are times that your time will be years will be months will be many years but no matter how long it is stay because when you find it the world will know you have found it it is costly to assume you have found it be sure early that you have found it Because you may assume you have found it until life needs it and you cannot bring it out. You have not found it. They are life to those who find them and health to their flesh. Are we together now? This is a very powerful scripture. And I want you to learn that when people are sitting in darkness, the solution, the solution, you know, I travel quite extensively to go and minister many times when i get to a place with within the level of the grace that god has given me i can know what the problem is within minutes i know you can look at a man and know what his problem is and know what the solution is and if that person is not willing to take the solution then your heart breaks there are people today who come for counseling some of you join the queue for counseling you are standing for counseling and you are trying to tell me what is wrong apostle a b c and like a doctor i already know this is a problem and usually i can tell them okay get one two three koinonia messages and listen to and i just touch their head and you see the anger the annoyance sometimes you know they are expecting uh, touch me i didn't fall i didn't do anything i will tell the person get this and that message usually they will start moving as if they are going there and just turn and walk away now please don't feel bad you have tied your hands by yourself the system works with light the system works with light the system works with light nobody wins by mistake the system works with light so if you really want to be victorious your assignment is to be a student of light and this is what we are going to be doing the seven days is not just a time to pray and fast blindly 
is this not the kind of fast i have commanded he says then shall your light break forth shall your light break forth my brothers and my sisters we arise by light i look at my life today and i look at many things i did not know and sometimes tears just come out from my eyes imagine that i knew it and i wonder how many other things i do not know what do you know about life what do you know about men what do you know about demons what do you know about god what do you know about time what do you know about wealth what do you know about greatness what do you know about failure what do you know about darkness what do you know about light what do you know about defeat what do you know about victory what do you know about jesus what do you know about satan that's where the victory lies so a believer can be mentored to become victorious not to become a church member meaning i can pick these three people right now and say look come and i will teach you the ways of god micah chapter 4 zechariah chapter 4 that's the assignment that the mountain of the lord's house give us micah chapter 4 please that it shall come to pass in the last days listen to the assignment of the church the last days that the mountain of the lord's house micah chapter 4 shall be established in the top of the mountains and it shall be exalted above the hills and people shall do what flow to it next verse it says and many nations how many nations many shall come and say come let us go up to the mountain of the lord to the house of the god of jacob and he will teach us his ways they are there in search of light isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1 it says arise shine for your light has come arise shine because you now know arise shine because you are no longer in ignorance arise shine because the power and the fear that comes with ignorance is broken amplified says arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you rise to a new light arise from the depression the prostration which circumstances have kept you they kept you through darkness they didn't press you physically they did something to your spiritual understanding and kept you there 80 percent of jesus's ministry was teaching notice how he made apostles he did not just make apostles there were times early in the morning they would go to pray but for three days all of you come up the mountain and he will continue to teach he didn't finish the curriculum when he resurrected he would have said everybody this is jesus back to life he says students quickly let's go we have my time i need to sit with you we have 40 more days to round up the course and for 40 days he kept teaching them teaching them on the matters of the kingdom when he was done he said tarry just 10 days you are good to go till today he has not seen a need to come back and say i failed when you give men light you really empower them when you give people money you give them donation when you give people clothes you give them charity but when you give them light you have really helped them giving is not only giving money money is not the only thing to be given the most useful thing to be given and that's how you know whether you'll be great or not if the things you like getting are physical you will not go far you must get the things that bring the physical things light show me someone who is in complete ignorance but will sit down and cry to the god of heaven and say lord i confess my ignorance show me show me open my eyes he said open down my eyes that i may behold that means that this kind of seeing god must open your eyes education cannot give you this kind of light it can prepare your mind to receive 
but only when god takes off the veil you won't know there is a veil till he takes it off and then you say my god this is it this is it i found my way i found my way as haphazard as life is the knowledge of the ways of god you begin to connect the dots and see that i thought it was haphazard but there is a rhythm that synergizes life ask any great man ask anybody who god is using mightily they will be lying if they don't if they tell you they don't know what they are doing it's not true it's not true my passion let me tell you my passion is to continue to dispense this light just letting you know that light will lift you is not enough i must bring the specific light what is the light this is your book what is responsible for bringing this book back to your hands number one is it possible yes you see that but what is the system design remember this is the book he's looking for but he doesn't know how to pick this book between you and this book there is a mystery there is a light that must connect you you can stand and see the book forever and not get it and sometimes you don't just need to listen to god alone you need to listen to the person who has picked his own how dare you trivialize the person that picked his own oh god you are my god and i will ever praise you oh god you are my god and i will ever praise you oh god you are my god and i will ever praise you i will seek you in the morning i will learn to walk in your ways and step by step you lead me and i will follow you listen let me tell you what is happening to you in koinonia keys are given to you get me a bunch of keys if you can find any you will get to a point my brothers and my sisters listen you will get to a point in your life and your destiny when you will know that life is many rooms and all those rooms need keys look at this this is a bunch of keys this is what god is giving you You've gotten three already, but he said that you need to open 70 rooms to succeed. So you now have three. You need to catch up. But you keep dangling three and say, I have three. And he says, those three rooms are just toilets. I need to give you keys. Listen, these are the ones that will reign in life. They who have paid the price. Lord, my child can be a bad boy so let me know in advance what is the key to restore a defaulting child it may be too late you don't get the key when you have the child you get the key before you have the child i don't pray that any arm robber will steal your car but what if he steals the car what is the key so god continues look at what you are doing he gives you a candle and he says keep sweeping and you are sweeping from one meeting to the other you are sweeping sometimes you say god i'm tired i've been sweeping for 10 years and i've just found four keys god will say a time will come you will find a bunch in one place you will not always pick one by one there are times when you, you will see many keys in one place let me tell you i submit to you this is what i've spent my life doing I'm like a spiritual archaeologist.
show me the keys what are the keys to the anointing i know i need this for ministry i need this for life and he says hold the light and keep sweeping you sweep from genesis to revelation you start again Genesis to Revelation, you start again. Genesis to Revelation, you start again. Genesis to Revelation, you start again. You don't sweep once. Listen. So while you are sweeping, you will find a key. Sometimes you will not know that what you are looking at is a key till you come back to sweep again. All the keys don't look the same. Listen. Listen to me. Please listen to what I'm teaching you. It is not it is not every key that appears as a key. You will look at some keys and they don't look like it and the spirit of God will say pick it. When you see the kind of door that this key will open, you will know. Let me tell you how you prepare for life. You hold your keys. And then when you begin to walk, you will see people who went ahead of you standing before certain doors. You, you thought they went ahead but there they are marking time they only open two doors out of 50 and they are standing and god says now remember the key i gave you in 95 bring it out open this door remember the key i gave you in 2001 during your retreat i gave you a small key now this is the small door that the key opens or step by step you lead me and I will all of my days first it has been given unto you to know to know the keys of the kingdom this is what we do business with in this kingdom the keys our fathers who are gone ahead of us are called fathers because of this when you check them some of them the keys they have they can't hold it again they have looked for bags and when they see you sometimes they look at you and say i know this door i saw it before when i was 27 i saw the door let me tell you how the key looks like so when you read their books and listen to them, that's what you are doing. They are helping to show you the key. Let me tell you how Satan cheats you. Sometimes he makes you think the keys you hold are not keys and you throw them. And the thing is, when you throw them, if you are starting with God, you will go back. You have to remember where you threw them and start sweeping again. Koinonia, hear me. You may not have the car yet but you have the key you may not have the house yet but you have the key man of god hear me you have not started the church yet but these are your members hidden in the keys that you hold listen this is a very ancient secret that god taught me stay stay on my word don't just be educated in terms of knowledge that pops up learn it i remember when i found the law of encounter wow this is the law that controls the power of god i remember when i found the law of honor it blew my mind the master key there are I will, ah, why did i go ahead of myself because i will show you that there are master keys when you don't find some keys you can use some keys to find the ones you are missing yes sir they are called master keys master keys master keys you find these keys and sometimes the door that will open is the door that your child's life depends on it's not every door that relates to you directly some doors are the keys that will feed your family some doors are the keys that will preserve you this is what god gave joseph he said joseph take this let me tell you this look at me those of us waiting for god to just bring physical things to bless you i like you to be matured and think like a believer thank god for miracle a lot but if that's all you are waiting for you are not thinking well 
this is it i commend you i look he's he's teaching you he's saying look stop wasting your time i hand you over to god and to the word of his grace number one it is able to build you so that you are stable immovable unshakable then number two you will find keys here and you will pick them up you will get to some of these doors and find people who were standing there before you were born they are still there standing at those doors and knocking and knocking and here you come from nowhere that's how you show forth his praises because many of them will be saying this door cannot open we've been at this door from 1951 and here comes oh warm jacob empowered by light and you turn it it may be an old door but you swing it open a time will come when they notice that you have mastered the art of opening doors then gentiles will come to your light you will no longer look for them listen this is the cure for complex this is the cure for complex no amount of good clothes good hair good anything can give you what this will give you the real secret of confidence is the holy spirit living in you and the dexterity of the spiritual knowledge that you hold they may persecute you but let's get to a door keep talking while we get to a door keep bragging while we get to a door keep making noise while we get to keep mocking god let us just get to a door every mockery ends when you stand before a door because only a key opens that door some of you are giving diligence to what you are doing now and you may not know what you are doing listen to me my brothers and my sisters people may laugh at you and mock at you you've been in koinonia for five years you have nothing to show no job no husband no money no no ministry no business no nothing and sometimes you feel guilty you have the keys you have just not reached the door and so you continue moving and then one day when you open that door when god is ready to announce you he can fast track 10 years of your life by keeping you on stage and you say son turn the key that opens the door to the anointing and on that day those who knew you will say from whence did this come and you say i found a key god gave me a key from that one meeting you may never rest again with the open doors that come open doors are only open because of the keys that open them they that walked in darkness it says arise from the depression lack of light can bring real depression not just medical depression a state where nothing works in a man's life but many of us ignore the keys and we're chasing shadows if only my uncle gave me five thousand I will never beg again if only um i wear a nice cloth they will think if only i do this and that and god says look 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 you may be in that one room but carry keys keys koinonia this is what god is going to be doing these seven days keys some of you threw some keys you had and god is going to be bringing you restoration more than restoration of a property or restoration of a this and that this is the real restoration the keys of the kingdom let me tell you fear a man who has held this there is no power there is no enchantment there is no devil that would throw such a one you keep watching that man your eyes will only keep going higher because of the power of this There are families that do not have even one key. They are not born again. Listen to me. From traditional worship, this is where they stand. Father does not have a key. Mother does not have a key. Sister does not have a key. There are some of you, you want to get into ministry, no key. I'm called. I'm anointed. 
they poured oil on my head but were keys given to you you just get up and your first assignment requires 10 keys and you stand there stupefied with no keys you are not ready for life when you do not have keys no matter how you think you are ready listen while we prepare to start tomorrow you are going to have to cry which key don't i have be honest and be sincere tonight's meeting is a charge have i found the key to the grace of god have i found the key to the favor of god have i found the key hallelujah you can hear like like Ima was sharing there was a key that he found so when trouble came they would have killed that person for nothing and he engaged that key don't wait until they give you a report before you start checking and then you say ah i don't have the key is someone challenged tonight brothers learn this key life is harsh let me tell you sincerely i don't mean to discourage you what gives ease to life is the keys that you hold what betides a man that steps into life not holding any key and i will give you the keys of the kingdom i search for these keys and i continue to search for them and when you find them they are life to those who find them they are life to those who find them you need diligence you need diligence my brothers and my sisters who are going to pray you need diligence the keys are not just at plain sight sometimes you may need to search and search and search and search and search and lie down there there are times that the holy spirit will have to be the one to come and say look turn your eyes look there that's the key some of these keys cannot be found by the eyes of men it will take the holy spirit to open your eyes for this cause i bow my knees ephesians chapter 1 please give it to us and verse 17 he's praying for the church ephesians chapter 1 that the god of our lord jesus christ paul is praying the father of glory may give unto you what the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him 18 the eyes of your understanding being enlightened some versions say being flooded with light that you may know that you may know that you may know that's the key that you may know because what you do not know will keep you where you are forever you would think that life will just move you forward automatically you will never move forward automatically not in ministry not in career whatever it is even if there are attacks there is what you will need to know for your victory victory will not just come if it would just come like that some of our loved ones would have been free step by step you are leading me and i will follow you all of my days step by step you lead me and i will follow you as i travel for meetings and i see the wonder working power of spiritual knowledge and the anointing of the holy spirit i am grateful to god but sometimes i ask the question what if i didn't have the key do you know someone will die if you don't get this key and that someone may be you it may not always be someone around you arise shine arise shine give god glory john chapter 1 and verse 6 the bible says there was a man sent from god his name was john 
it says the same came for a witness verse 7 that he came to bear witness to the truth are we together now and that all men might through his witness believe all men might through that witness believe there are people who will never believe in jesus until they see your light i've been preparing myself for these seven days lord what do i not know thank god for what i know but i need the one that i do not know if you have 30 over 100 you got 30 but you failed you didn't get zero but you didn't get enough to pass so ignore the 30 and focus on the 70. even if you have 80 over 100 you see in this kingdom it is what the 10 sometimes the one key you don't have can rubbish all the other keys that you have one key hezekiah was at the point of death chapter 38 of isaiah the word of the lord came to isaiah the son of amos go and tell hezekiah to put his house in order he will not recover from the sickness a real prophet and hezekiah said man of god i honor you i obey you you can go and he turned his face where you know what to do you can listen to people and say i've heard you may god bless you when you close the door you pick your keys where is it where is it where is it there is a name ah blind Bartimaeus. he had been trying many things but not the key people will pass and he say help me wicked people he didn't open the door one day he learned about the mercy of god and he said come now let that opportunity come as soon as jesus was passing jericho for the last time he no longer said help me he said thou son of david have mercy the moment jesus had that mercy he said, ah the cross the cross mercy because when you call mercy, Jesus must stand. Mercy. What should I do for you that I might see? And that was it. That man would have died there. Thou son of David. Do you know when to call him Jesus and when to call him the son of David? Do you know what occasion necessitates? Thou son of David, have mercy on me. I want to walk in exact knowledge. I want to walk in knowledge, spiritual knowledge. Worthy, worthy is the lamb that was slain and he has redeemed them, us now, unto God. He says, I, I beheld and I saw a lamb that had been slain. Weep not, he said, for the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, is worthy, qualified to open the book and unlock the scroll it says and when i looked i saw a lamb that had been slain having seven horns and seven eyes seven eyes seven eyes the spirit of god providing for perfect revelation seven eyes seven eyes seven eyes apostle when will i rise the day the light to lift you comes will i rise in august if you want to will i rise this april if you want to will i rise in may if you want to the choice is yours your addiction to his light is what culminates to your rising please hear me as i preach to you time will never change anything it will take light the entrance of thy word give it light not just knowledge light and then understanding to the simple hallelujah something happened to me today that almost brought tears and i said god how many people may never 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 be able to experience certain dimensions of your hand simply because of this light that they do not know do you know many times when i'm praying truly speaking i think in the last one month my prayer life now i don't even know what to say again 
Many times I just kneel down and tears just come out of my eyes. Thank you. Thank you for knowledge. Thank you for knowledge. Thank you for knowledge. Thank you for taking away ignorance. Thank you for taking away ignorance. Separating me from darkness. It's the power of God. Is someone willing to pray tonight? Lord, I'm tired of where I am. I don't want to lie to myself again. I'm tired of this realm. There is a dimension in God that he seeks to bring me. This can't be it. God is so much bigger than me. Oh, this can't be it. God is so much bigger than this. One more time. This can be for God is so much. Listen. Was it not ignorance that caused Cain? If Cain knew how to do it well, he would have gotten it. Cain did it, but he did it wrongly. God is no respecter of persons, but he will respect his ordinances forever. There is something we do not know. The Bible says the Lord is nigh them that call upon him. Until you have a broken and a contrite heart, Say, Lord, I've seen this and I thank you. But open my eyes in this area. Is someone desperate to cry tonight? Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. chapter 3 and verse 4. Please give us an amplified. It's a popular scripture here. You know it. Let's start from verse 3. Habakkuk chapter 3 from verse 3 and 4. It says, God coming from Teman, you know, and the Holy One from Mount Paran. It says, and His glory covered the heavens and the earth was full of His praise. Verse 4 very powerful scripture it says and his brightness was like the sunlight rays streamed from his hand and there in that light was the hiding place of his power god's power is hidden in his light remember the teaching last week his divine power has given us all things but that divine power comes at the instance of the light so grace and peace is multiplied through knowledge the greater your knowledge the greater your exact spiritual illumination that is the depth and the dimension of power that you will command the bible says to be careful lest what you call light be darkness you can call darkness light for many years please open your mouth and cry and say lord damage darkness from my life drive it far from my life drive it far from my life Take away darkness from my life. Take away darkness, oh God, from my life.
water you turn into wine. Listen, open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. None like you. Water you turn into water you turn into wine. That's a prayer now. Open the eyes of the blind.
challenge your destiny. We are praying. Enough is enough. It's time to rise. It's time to rise with a testimony that everyone will know that this is the finger of God. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know there's more that's found in you. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. I know there's more that's found in you. Fasting is ushering into a new season because of the light that is coming and because of what you will do with it. Your heart must be prepared to receive it. Listen, just one spiritual law that is well understood can turn your life around. will turn your life around. of Zion. He said we were like them that dream. Listen, I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. I have seen what will happen in these days. He says when the Lord turn again, turn again, some of you are not just shifting, it's a complete turnaround. Complete turnaround. Complete turnaround. You will know the door that this mystery should open. You will know it. One door opens you up. Another door opens you up. Another door opens you up. Then you pray with understanding. Not just careless prayer without light. It says, Turn again our captivity like the strings of the nether. Turn again our captivity. I agree that it will be a moment of sacrifice. I agree that we are going to be praying and fasting. But watch what happens to your eyes while you fast. Except scripture is not true. It says, then shall your light break forth. You have been looking, but now you will see that this is it. I've heard about it with the hearing of my ears, but now my eyes have seen it. Now my eyes will see it. Now my eyes will see. Now my eyes will see. And I will walk in it. 
it will no longer be miracle alert one moment after another but you enter into a dimension called the worldly place it will no longer be one demonstration of the holy spirit as told by death work but you enter into a realm of mastery mastery god is damaging ignorance transiting you from being general and putting you in a spectacular position that everyone that sees you will know that you are called by the name of God. It may not look like it, but my brothers and sisters, don't forget that this is God we are talking about. God is changing everything in my life. God is starting something new in my life. He won't stop, he won't stop, till I'm moving just like him. He won't stop, oh, he won't stop, till I lie moves like him. God is doing Listen, listen to me. I like you to cause the spirit of destruction. Destruction is a wicked spirit. You will listen to every other thing but the word that will lift you. He said he sends out his word. The word is a messenger. It will be coming to people. A buffet of big mysteries in the kingdom. Lift your voice and cause destruction. in the Bible that can fight the world. One of it is called the traditions of men. It says you have made the world of none effect through the tradition. Tradition. You don't have the flexibility to adjust. This is always how I've been taught. This is how I know it. The Bible says you cannot put new wine in an old wine skin. Lord, do something to my wine skin that will give way so that a new wine skin will come. Lift your voice and pray. I'm tired of the old wine skin. I've exhausted the results that come with the old wine skin. Are you praying? New wine. New wine. New wine. In my wine skin. New wine. Number two, unbelief. They had the word just like it says, there remained a rest for the people of God. It says, in that day, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart like they did in the provocation in the wilderness. Unbelief. 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 You hear the word of God and all kinds of contemplations begin to come. Give us Romans chapter 4 please. Romans chapter 4. We are praying. We are preparing our hearts for tomorrow. Romans chapter 4. Let's study Father Abraham in one minute. And learn from him the principles that make for true faith. Abraham... From verse... 17 as it is written i have made thee a father of many nations you are going to be hearing things like this but the bible says before whom he believed even god who quickened the dead and called those things which be not as though they were 18 18 who against hope some of you are going to have to believe and hope against hope because the things God will tell you to, to do or the things God will tell you will come back to life are already dead and have been long dead 
and yet God will tell you they will come back to life. He believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations according as that which was spoken. Next verse 19. He says, and not being weak in faith, he considered not. This is not a week to start considering. Okay, now that prophecy is coming, that this will happen, let me calculate. If only my uncle called me, no, that one is not faith. He considered not his own body now dead when he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. Next verse. He staggered not. You believe now, and then as soon as you share the grace, you are just in with someone and he says, Oh boy, we only said amen. No, even me, God knows I don't believe it. You are staggering. Vacillations of your convictions. You believe this today, and by tomorrow you change. But was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Lord, I challenge unbelief as a spirit. Every word that is coming from you, I, 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 I obtain the faith to receive it. Lift your voice and those outside, please pray. Those online, pray. I receive the faith. number three pride pride the bible says and receive with meekness the engrafted word there is a spiritual quality required to receive meekness pride can destroy pride can destroy you're going to pray and say lord my heart is open to learn i receive the heart of a student in this school of the spirit Teach me. I'm not too proud to learn. Teach me. Lift your voice and pray. Let me tell you this. There are some of you, please give me this cup. There are some of you, this is what you plan to bring for the prayer and fasting. A small cup like this. Lord, I know you. You are like the man with one talent. You are a hard man. I know you. You are not a giver. You don't have the heart to lavishly give. So I brought a small cup to receive. He will fill the cup. There are other people who will bring a drum and say, Lord, I know you can feel it. There are other people who will buy a host and hang it and say, Lord, I'm plodding it from you to me. Not even a drum. Like plugging it to God and plugging it to myself and let everything that can flow, flow. Even in the good soil, it gave three kinds of results. 30 fold, 60 fold, 100 fold. It is not the sower. It is the heart that the seed fell on. Lord, it must be 100 fold this time around. It must be 100 fold. I will not be blessed on day 3, day 5 and day 6. I will be blessed from day 1 to the last day. Last prayer point. Lord, as I'm standing in this conference, every one of my family members, I connect through 
the power of the bloodline they must be part of this testimony listen listen if you are blessed alone you are still not free you have to pray that they too may be saved that god will also bring them he says for the promises unto you and your children and your children's children as many as are far off even they that the lord will call the promise is for everybody not for a few people so you are going to pray if you can mention your loved ones by name i'd like you to mention them and say lord they must be part of this conference in the spirit as i'm standing i also agree for a visitation for them i agree for a visitation for them is the week that they must encounter Jesus Christ. Those who are wallowing in ignorance, sincere but ignorant, this is the season, oh God. 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 Are you praying? This is the season. Your voice from the depth of your heart and pray. Shabbatatu, celebratatu, scripture for tonight Genesis 21 verse 1 and 2 may this be someone's testimony Genesis 21 from verse 1 and 2 let's read it together one to read and the Lord visited Sarah as had said and the Lord did to Sarah as he has spoken next verse for Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age at when the set time which the Lord had spoken there is a set time that's the key word it's not just that the answer came but that the answer came at the set time he said thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her, yea, the set time. This is the last prayer. Lord, I declare that this is my set time. Do to me like you have spoken. Do to me like you have spoken. I declare that this is my set time. Do to me like you have spoken. Do to me like you have spoken. This is my set time. This is my set time. For those of you who travel from far, I'd like you to pray from the depth of your heart. Those following your life, Lord, this is my set time. Do to me like you have said. Do to me like you showed me in the vision. Do to me like you spoke through your servant. Understanding has come to you when you know your role in the equation of your results. If you do not know the role you have to play in the equation of your result, you do not understand it. This is very important. But the word of God, please listen, is the agency by which faith is built. It says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God it doesn't necessarily mean just hearing a voice that means that there is a system of interaction with your spirit man when you are exposed to whether the written word or the spoken word if it's the word that comes from god it sustains an ability to rest upon your spirit full of god's convictions the bible is full of his propositions 
this is what I can do. And then you prove it by saying, Lord, I trust you. So the word of God itself, I'm careful to say this now because I don't want it to make to sound like the word of God is not powerful. It is powerful, but it is powerful because it is the carrier and the container of his power. Are we together now? the anointing follows the word of god wherever the word of god goes that's where the anointing goes so if the word of god goes in the direction of healing his power goes in the direction of healing if the word of god goes in the direction of lifting his power goes in the direction of lifting but i said something yesterday that i will establish quickly for the purpose of the impartation that would happen later that our limitations or the inability to see the fullness of god's power is caused by two factors yesterday i attempted to establish that number one the nature of the operation of the anointing is that just because you are anointed does not mean everything can be done the anointing works like money are we together now that every level and every dimension has a spiritual price tag the possibilities that can be purchased at that level if you have ten thousand naira there are certain things you can obtain with that amount are we together now you cannot obtain anything higher than ten thousand so i gave an example yesterday come doctor i gave an example yesterday that if i am a man of god and i have let me use for the purpose of example say hundred thousand naira worth of anointing watch this i hope you understand why my, my example when this gentleman comes to receive from me under god god is limitless his power is limitless the holy spirit is unlimited are we together now but remember the possibilities are according to the power that works not lives in me are we together now then when i pray for this brother father bless him father lift him the level of grace that i have are we together now will scan through this man's life and only solve the problems that are within the grace oh dear i'm just spotting him please let's honor the pastor of second equa here may the lord honor you sir i cannot but honor you thank you surprise surprise thank you god bless you so much sir hallelujah are we together so this man has he's in need of restoration watch this now he's in need of speed he's in need of lifting he's in need of deliverance he's in need of healing he's in need of impartation of a supernatural grace say the gift of the spirit it is only the problem that is within the level of the anointing i have that will be solved he may fall down he may roll under the anointing he will get up with some cases solved and others not solved this is the reason why being anointed once is not enough you must strive to grow in glory because you get to a point where every challenge that is brought is within the level of your grace that's when you become a blessing so the bible says it this way how god anointed jesus you see that now the secret of his going around doing good was not just that he was anointed look at the extent to which he was anointed When you read isaiah chapter 47 it begins to show us the dimensions or the progressions of the anointing in the life of a person and the possibilities that can happen at every level ezekiel the prophet was in a vision and he began to see a river that flowed from the east side of the temple and then it was to his ankle then it was to his knee it was to his loins and then it was a river that he could not flow through it and the bible says whatever contacted that river at that level every fish that was dead came alive there are certain conditions and levels of the anointing where certain results are activated all results are not activated at every level if you're with me say amen, amen. this is the reason why the apostles will minister and sometimes they will honestly admit that this level of grace is not at work in their life and they will go and outsource for other dimensions of the spirit to continue from where they've stopped are we together 
I believe and I am convinced that the sons of Skiva had succeeded in some level of deliverance at one point or the other. I do not want to believe that was their first trial. The level of confidence reveals that they must have gotten some results. So they said, we adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preaches. And hear the response of the demon. Jesus, I know. You see, in other words, the demon is saying, I know who I am. I'm not stupid. I know the level of grace that can get me out here. I know that Jesus has it. I know that Paul has it, but I don't know where you are standing. And you see, this is it. So if you can, if you can pray for me and get me free, then I will pounce on you. You see it now. It's a, it's a big risk to be anointed at a very low level because you will not see the need to press for more of God and then you will believe that just because the anointing is there just like money just because you touch the back of your pocket and there's something there does not mean you have what it takes to purchase the things that you want so this is what we identified as the number one reason why we may not be able to obtain certain results and you know the level of grace and anointing at work in your life by the testimonies that recycle around your life and ministry the testimonies that recycle around your life are a testament they are proof that this is what the grace you have can produce are we together number two we discussed yesterday if you remember very carefully that the second um revelation that we must understand on the dynamics of the anointing is that your understanding is what structures the efficiency of the anointing listen carefully that means that it is not enough to be anointed the dimensions and the possibilities that the anointing produce is where your understanding takes it to i gave you an example yesterday that the anointing is likened to a reservoir of water are we together and your understanding is like the host wherever you channel the water to it will go the pressure and its ability to give life is not in doubt but the various areas that will partake of that water is governed by this host call your understanding that means listen that means that if all i know is the dimension of god that heals every time i pray for someone the only dimension they will see in their life is healing my understanding will continue to push the anointing to manifest as the healing power of god so if the person is looking for prosperity for instance i will pray for the person but you will find out that he will be healed but not prosper and the reason is because the moment i sustain an understanding of the economic system of god then the power of god can follow that new pathway to heal his finances are you getting what i'm saying now yes so if i do not understand the principles that make for restoration after a delay i can come and say in the name of jesus be restored no the anointing will want to follow the path of restoration but understanding has not opened the channel so the anointing is limited and it will be forced to follow the path that is currently open and if that path is healing or whatever it is then you see it there that means that you are efficient in the dispensing on the, of the power of God to the degree to which you sustain understanding of God's ways, his methodologies. Hallelujah. So in my example, like I gave, every time there was delay in a man's life, restoration came exclusively through the prophetic are we together now that means that if i want the power of god to bring restoration to this man the power of god must flow through the prophetic to produce that effect if it flows through any other channel it may bless the man but not restoration are you getting what i'm saying now that means that if i want restoration i will create a pathway of the prophetic for the anointing to come and bless this man this is very very powerful because most believers um and this is the reason why you may want to reason this with me for a while that our fathers respectfully speaking and all those who have gone to be with the lord a number of them did not pay the price 
to get illumination and spiritual enlightenment are we together they subjected themselves in much fasting and prayer and they had very heavy deposits of the anointing but you notice that with the level of anointing they had their results were small because the understanding that will give that anointing expression to manifest in the various facets of their lives were not there we went to second kings yesterday and we saw how that the problem was not the oil the problem was the vessels the vessels if there is a vessel of the understanding of the healing ministry and it is filled the anointing will flow if there is a vessel of prosperity the anointing will flow if there is a vessel of church growth the church will grow if there is a vessel of speed etc etc so it's not enough to be anointed that's why jesus mentored people by giving them over 99 percent teaching they sat under a strong teaching ministry and then in one day they received an impartation we reverse the case in our generation we are always doing impartations we lay hands you fall down you stand up we lay hands you fall down you stand up we lay hands you fall down you stand up but the results do not change because the understanding that gives it expression is not there notice that for such people who have been receiving impartation for many years the day they get any light the result is almost instant because it's like the anointing has been piling up just waiting for the doorway that opens for it the walking knowledge of the power of god i believe in the power of god but it is very frustrating to not know how it can translate to the results of people your being anointed does not mean anything until lives are changed and transformed in a way that is notable enough please listen listen take note of it in a way that is notable enough in a crowd like this my brothers and sisters please reason with me that in a crowd of thousands of people like this and several others from around the world imagine that at the end of this service only three or four or five people are healed delivered or lifted by god's standard even by human standards you did a bad job so you are a blessing to the degree to which you have intimacy with god and you understand the operations of his divine power enough to be able to flow like a river Shabakataya. flow like a river so that in one hour someone who is probably standing I'm, I'm told they had to create a new overflow so let's use the overflow four right you're just standing at overflow four hoping lord will you touch me and in five minutes you check around and you cannot understand your life again because you have moved to another dimension his divine power his divine power please hear me whatever issue of concern it is the divine power of god that is able to produce it we're here thousands of us with our various requests representing our pain our disappointments our frustrations our expectations my assignment as a man of god is to bring your challenges face to face first with god and then his divine power and then if i can do that i'll finish my assignment my assignment is to connect your situation with the power of god and get out of the way and then you watch the wonder working power of jesus when you don't get out of the way you become an interruption to the efficiency of the power so the assignment of an anointed man of god as it were is to allow the lord to use him by the spirit of god to connect the challenges of people to his divine power if you can do that a miracle service has started hallelujah and so then it becomes it becomes mandatory upon us men and women of god to study the systems that can help us connect the power of god to people's problems like you connect a a, a fuse to a socket and switch it on you finish yours and the gadget begins to work it works for as long as that connection is there 
hallelujah praise the lord so let it not surprise you if within the next few minutes you turn around and cannot see what you came here with it is his divine power mm. his divine power remember the testimony of our precious mother was so touched when she shared that testimony just like that in the twinkling of an eye someone's life changes the twinkling of an eye a grace you did not come here with goes back with you a twinkling of an eye a challenge that you have had that has been age long listen let me tell you don't get too used to the hand of satan on your life just because his hand has rested for a long time does not mean it cannot be lifted you tried lifting it with different graces so they did their best but there are graces that can lift it is true it is true praise the lord your assignment tonight is to believe that his divine power is able to come through for you and then number two to be prepared listen listen please this is your own part now to be prepared to respond by faith what does it mean to respond by faith to listen for the instructions that make for your result it's important every result has a strategy a pathway that produces it if your challenge is jericho you need to know how to go around and shout if your challenge is the red sea you need to know how to use the rod to part it if your challenge is five loaves and two fish to feed five thousand you need to know the mystery of thanksgiving that makes for multiplication if your challenge is the leprosy of naaman you need to know how to go to jordan to wash all results are not produced by the same strategy it is the same divine power but your faith must be anchored on an instruction that is tied to it deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1 it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord to do and observe all that i command you this day it says that you will be set up on high above all nations of the earth and that all these blessings will come upon you and overtake you praise the lord that's how it works so while you take your eyes away from your pain you must set your gaze on something else jesus the possibilities is it true oh god that you can turn my family situation around seven of us came for this miracle service and lord i don't even know where you will start but then you listen you listen you listen sometimes it can come as one prophetic word and it's done look let me tell you something the ease with which miracles happen i think is the reason why many people cannot receive it how do you look at someone like this and say go it's done what does that mean you are making a mockery of me i sang praise and worship i rolled on the ground and i stood here and all you tell me is go was that not what naman was complaining about he said you mean you want to embarrass me i just go and wash in a river I thought you will even come out and salute me and give me something more intelligent but you see the ways of god are not like the ways of men jesus was speaking to nicodemus and he said the wind blow it where it listed he says you cannot tell where it's going nor where it's coming he says so is one who is led of the spirit you have to be spiritual to understand the ways of god you have to be spiritual because traditions of men can make the word of God of non effect. It can strangle the potency of God's word. But tonight I agree with you and I know that there are people here who are determined. That everything we are going to be doing here within the next hour or so. That it will culminate to a tangible result. Let me tell you this. I love Jesus Christ. I love him with all my heart. And I made a vow unto God. That among the many things that will happen to the people that he ever brings to me and puts under my care, wasting their time will not be part of it. I made up my mind by God that you should not come for koinonia twice to testify. No, no, no. You should come twice to grow. You should come twice to learn. You should come twice to know God. But one encounter should be enough. It's true. 
one encounter apostle i came to take fresh fire one encounter one encounter i came to break the bands of witchcraft and wickedness in my family one encounter one encounter apostle my family members did not come with me but they asked me to represent them it doesn't matter one encounter the power of god master he says he told the centurion let me come to your house to honor you being a captain in the army he said no for i am also like you a man under authority i understand the stretching power of authority i may be limited as a person but the roman government has a jurisdiction and that whoever is under the influence of that government can feel the effect of the government so they may not be here but the earth is still the lord's so they are still within the jurisdiction of his reach and if you are a man under the authority of that owner then the power of god should flow right in on the integrity and the sovereign power of that owner to touch anybody anywhere this i believe this i believe this i believe apostle i don't even know the name of my situation i've gone to the hospital they have done everything jesus if he said he was just healer would have found reason to be afraid later on but he says i am the resurrection and the life what is resurrection giving life to something that has no business having life resurrection resurrection I am he that was dead but now is alive apostle i came here with my cv is it that god cannot give me a job i've gone around looking for jobs again and again i've applied everywhere god should see my family what then is the blessing if the anointing cannot change the situation what does it mean to be a blessing as a man of god does it mean to preach well does it mean to be sympathetic to people's situation as important as that is sympathy does not produce result it only provides comfort god did not call us to be sympathizers no he says the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me too then he begins to list all the things that will happen and then at the end of all of those things he says to give them beauty for ashes the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called oak or the trees of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might in their result be glorified john chapter 17 and verse 1 jesus christ lifted up his eyes to the heavens praying and he taught us a principle there verse one he says father the hour has come and then he said glorify thy son that thy son may glorify thee so how is god glorified when the son is glorified how is god glorified as a healer when the son is healed when the daughter is healed how is god glorified as a lifter when the son is lifted when the daughter is lifted how is god glorified as a deliverer the dimension of god that he gets glory from is the dimension that the result manifests in your life he cannot be glorified as one who is quick and powerful until your life testifies it your goodness is real i testify your goodness is real your favor is real i testify your power is real i testify how then do you know the favor of god is real listen 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 your faith must grow to trust the difference between faith and trust is that faith is predicated on god's integrity are we together now it, uh, on who god is but trust is based on his integrity and his track record you cannot trust a man until there is a track record are we together if i'm meeting you for the first time dr emeka and they tell me you are a doctor I will have faith in you i can't trust you it's too early it's too early to trust you i will see what your injection does for me 
are we together now when you give me an injection and i cannot walk what should happen to you when you give me an injection i am fine then i come to you and you give me a recommendation and it works i begin to note you and associate you with my joy and then eventually i conclude that this man is worth my belief this man is also worth my staking my all to so that the day you give me an instruction that i do not understand i can reach back at the archives of your track record and say i may not know what you are saying but i know what you said and i know what i saw genesis 21 verse 1 genesis 21 i testify i testify that your goodness is real I testify, I testify that your goodness is real. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did to Sarah as he had spoken. Trust in the Lord. How do you trust in the Lord? Take cognizance of his benefits, be observant what did he do in 2001 what did he do in 2005 you see if the lord had not been on our side now may israel say on the strength of that track record they named him they gave a name that should not change a testament of their trust a testament of their trust so your assignment is to believe that God is able. Take your eyes away. I repeat, take your eyes away. Please take your eyes away from anything that is not Jesus tonight and focus. Apostle, they've prayed for me. A prophet just like you prayed for me. An apostle just like you prayed for me. A pastor even conducted night vigils in our house. I know and I respect God and I respect the grace upon that man. Except that one more thing I did not teach you about the anointing is that not every anointing blesses you. The man must be sent. There were many widows in Zarephath, but to none was Elijah sent. When the word of God passes you, it does not bless you. It is when it is sent. He sent, not brought. He sent forth. It was when the king sent for Joseph that his life changed. When I sent thee, lackest thou anything. Not when you moved around. When I sent thee. Because every time he sends it, his integrity is upon it. Tonight, God is sending his word to me to you to us the word that leads the word for your ministry the word for your life is going to be a quick walk some of you write from the communion as you partake from the communion you finish your own miracle service you will just join others in rejoicing it's true you know yesterday i observed and we learned yesterday that the reason why the communion does not produce is because we are only eating bread and juice we have not discerned it the bible says there is a sin that a man can commit the sin of not discerning the lord's body you cannot discern the possibilities that come from that body for many years i took communion and i was left in the dark as to the relevance of this thing in my life I would just take the wafer and take the the drink and then stop there nothing happened until i found out that the life-giving factor of everything is understanding understanding is what gives life to the spiritual activities and the processes that we're involved with so it is not enough to just hear it is not enough to just do it is the understanding that sponsors what we do that produces the results I don't know if there are people here tonight who are here insisting that as surely as there is a God in heaven, whatever I came with, I must leave it here tonight. Hmm. It is important. God is giving you understanding now. When I came into the house of the Lord, then understood I. 
the house of god is bethel not just a place of bread but a place where the bread is broken two men met jesus in m house and they began to discuss the messiah and he was there with them but they could not see and then when he broke bread the bible declares that their eyes were open and he departed my assignment is to continue to study continually by the spirit the processes that makes for the liberty of the saints much more than the transformation of the saints much more than providing an atmosphere for encounters the saints need to be brought to a point where they encounter the reality of god's power the power of god can be encountered hallelujah so we're going to partake of the communion very quickly and for many of you this will be one communion you will not forget it doesn't matter even if you are the one who serves your own communion you may serve it like a ritual the wafer does not have any power to do anything for you the bread the cup does not have any power but how shall these things be when i'm using only bread and cup the power of the highest shall overshadow that emblem and whatever comes out of it can produce any result a handkerchief and an apron is not even alive talk more of having faith but when his divine power comes upon it it becomes an instrument of signs and wonders the air that you breathe and the sound that is produced from you does not sustain any power except that when your speaking becomes the voice of god then it is no longer the words of men john said i am the voice of one so when you hear me you hear that one hallelujah when it's time to pray for the sick i like you to believe god believe god to set people free we we'll do it very fast because there are so many people and praying for the sick takes a lot of time we'll do it fast and then after that we'll do the deliverance and the impartation and whatever it is that needs to leave you it must go it must go this night it must go this night please jump up on your feet your divine power your divine power able to lift me to a higher dimension in the spirit your divine power is someone praying on the last day of the feast jesus came and said is anyone thirsty is anyone thirsty the final day of the feast go ahead and pray please inside outside lift your voices and pray are you praying lord i believe it is your divine power now i know how the results will come your divine power i know how the lifting will come your divine power i'm under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. Hey, I Your influence is all over us. We are under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over us. Yeah. Lift your voice and pray. Sabarando Seneca Tabariatash. Tonight is my night. I discern. I discern. Sabrakato Seneca Prashd. 
Endele gabrande zedika shobra gada balada bash. Krato zazi gada barunde ketosh. Embra kato zale ke bradish. She bradika posh. Rakato bari ada balada bash. Rakato bari indes ke meritash. Rakapa ruda si ada balada daba. He barando zele karusi ada balada ba. Please keep praying. Hela baranda zazia hasa barando kate preke di balaraba. Hallelujah. John chapter six. John chapter 6 we'll begin our reading from verse 49 to 56 John chapter 6 your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead next verse this is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die 51 I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, not is like my flesh. Is my flesh, which I give for the life of the world. 52. And the Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? 53. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Stop here. Just, just go back. Just go back. This is what he's saying. That in the flesh of the Son of Man and in the blood of the Son of Man is his life. That the life of the flesh is in the blood. Are we together now? Listen very carefully. So that when you partake, please keep that scripture. When you partake of it with understanding. The Bible says that you are not just taking a wafer. You are not just taking a drink. But that you are, you are opening up yourself to partake of the life of God. Next verse. 54. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood, had, I told you the word there is not eternal life. It's the word zoe. It's not the longevity of the life, but the quality of the life. And I will raise him up on the last day, 55. We're stopping at 56. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. The last verse. He that eateth my flesh, this is it and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and i in him this is a theological concept called the doctrine of interpenetration is the system by which two separate entities are interwoven to become one the same mystery in marriage the same mystery with the spirit of god so that by the mystery of partaking in the communion that means the spirit should not know the difference between your body and god's body are we together now yes let me tell you what that means come look at this Emeka come watch this if this lady is his wife and she's weak and he's strong his strength is her own too you understand that are you getting me not part of his strength his strength so if you say she's strong you are right are we together now this is very important now that means that when she's strong and his weak her strength is his strength too interpenetration and so now when you partake of this although your body may be weak and frail although your finances may be weak and frail although your ministry may be weak and frail although your body may be ravaged by all kinds of demons but here you are introducing like you are shaking the hand of the other partner in a wrestling and here he comes through this mystery as little as this is let me tell you when you understand this mystery you will not even be able to hold this thing you see like this
Hallelujah. I'm going to pray on this and then we're going to distribute it around. It's simple enough for you to open. You just here open the wafer and then the drink. And please, the moment you do, do not litter the ground. Do not litter the ground. I don't know what provision has been made for that. But if no provision has been made, whilst you take it, provided you are not under the anointing, just pass it to the last person at the aisle and then you make it easy for the ushers or whoever is involved to just pick them up. You can use the, off the bowls or whatever you have to have them. We are going to pray. Please pray in one minute and mention the things that must live your life because they are not found in the life of the Christ. Please pray. By wisdom, O oh God, heaven's gates open up. With understanding, you order the season. Creating day and night, turning darkness into light, arranging the stars to your pleasing. But I can't deny forever. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, eternity's holy King. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, whose words brings in the evening. Please pray one minute. We discern your body. We discern your body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, it should go around. I believe that they just brought this to represent the communion. I'm going to pray on this. This is ordinary welfare and a drink. But not after the power of God comes upon it. It says anything receives power after the Holy Ghost comes on it. Not just men. You shall receive power. The you can be this. Can receive power. Provided the Holy Ghost comes on it. He didn't say men shall receive power. No. Anything receives power when the Holy Ghost comes upon it. Your pain receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it. Your ministry receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it. Your communion receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon this. I lay my hands upon this communion, representing all others that are not here. I decree, O oh God, that in a very strange way, may your power flow through this in the name of jesus let it bring miracles let it bring all kinds of deliverances in the name of jesus whoever partakes of this tonight in the name of jesus i declare instantly may your power begin to rest upon them let all kinds of breakthroughs begin to happen let infirmities give way in the name of jesus let deliverances let devils and demons begin to leave let doors begin to open in the name of Jesus Christ. My flesh is meat indeed. We partake with understanding. We partake with understanding. Please make sure everybody something will begin to happen to you as you partake of this you will marvel and wonder at the power of the communion go ahead take it with faith and watch the wonder walking power 
the wonder working power of Jesus the wonder working power of Jesus Bring all those under the anointing out. Please bring them out quickly. While we wait for the rest to finish, please just bring them out quickly. Something is opening up in your spirit, man. My flesh is meat indeed. My blood is drink indeed. Please bring those under the anointing. There is a reason why I ask you to bring them. I want to pray for them. Something is already happening in the realm of the spirit. Please be patient tonight. God is setting people free. When there is understanding to your spiritual activity, then the power is released. The power is released. You will not believe the kinds of burdens that are leaving people already. Shalakaparuda Seketa. Mm. My flesh is meat indeed. My blood is drink indeed. He that eateth of my flesh and drinketh of my blood hath my life. Ah, ah, ah. 
Alanda rapa sobada kata bala katus. has not been planted by my father will be uprooted is it not written in your word that for this purpose the son of God was made manifest that he may destroy I decree in the name of Jesus we are going to begin to minister now that every force that is not of the Christ Right now, I decree and declare by an apostolic and a prophetic rod scattered around this crowd, inside and outside, everybody under any kind of bondage, I decree, be free now. Be free now. I command judgment on strange spirits. In the name of Jesus. The spirits of ancestry, the workings of bloodlines and territories, I come against you by the God of heaven. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There is liberty. Listen, we are still praying. Please pay attention. I'm praying now. The Lord is showing me families. I'm seeing families under an intense yoke of retrogression. Nothing moves in that family. You can go to school, it doesn't make any difference. You can get a job, it doesn't make any difference. Have a business, it doesn't make any difference. I stretch my hands. Where are those people? Inside and outside, I declare right now, the power of God is coming upon you. It's time for your family to be released. At the count of three. One, two, three. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. I lose your family. I set them free. I set them free. Shamanda kaskabarakata. paroto seteka. Surely there is an end, the Bible says. Surely there is an end. Even weeping endures only for a night. I declare freedom on those families now. I declare freedom. Don't be distracted. Just pay attention, please. Samarakato Zegedesh. Ilabanda Rahas Kabarukato Shadekata. Paruzes Yanakata. Breketela Kuzianamas. Kratena Zazia Makatos. You rise to a level and then you crash back. It's a pattern that exists in families. 
there's nothing wrong with rising keep rising but you plateau at a level and then you crash back i stretch my hands now this is what the lord is showing me my god my god i decree and declare the spirit that causes men to rise up and crash back in shame represented in anyone here the legal hold upon which you operate is caused now in the name of jesus i release such people right now be released in the name of jesus be released in the name of jesus overflow three please lift your hands the lord is showing me something happening in overflow three overflow three please lift your hands mighty god mighty god i see a lot of attacks serious attacks on overflow three i don't know for whatever reason that the people that are sitting there i'm seeing a lot of attacks at the count of three overflow three i want you to shout the name jesus and there will be a mighty deliverance there overflow three one two three shout jesus hallelujah i'm seeing the gate of a prison and i'm seeing people inside the gate of a prison like the front of a prison and i remember scripture says to open to set at liberty them that are bound there are people who are moving but are in prison all sorts of prisons right now i decree and declare even by the power of the holy ghost let the doors and the chains and the yokes that keep you in bondage i declare that those chains are loose now i declare that those chains are loose now and for all those in front here representing all those that i'm praying for i declare not only that the spirits leave you but that whatever they took from you as surely as the god of heaven lives your families must testify of that restoration therefore leave them now go go out of them now in the name of jesus release their families release their spiritual lives release their finances Paradox is a hasaka paradosia. Lembra geto scalaricias hebras godash. Prakato barado zaziana katabaladash. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please, this row, lift your hands. I just see angelic activities happening here, and I'm seeing something being removed out of people's stomachs. This is what I'm seeing here something is being removed out of people's stomachs that's what the lord is showing me just this role i don't know what it is but god is uprooting something that should not be there by the spirit of the living god let it go let it go in the name of jesus i place the word of god upon that situation it must let you go right now the lord is taking something out i still continue to see this vision god is taking something out of people's stomachs the spirit of the lord is there is liberty there is liberty there is liberty there is liberty i'm seeing the feet of a man and i'm seeing the feet of a man under chains under chains this is what i see and the Lord is showing me fire coming to break and consume the feet. I know that this vision is a representation of stagnation again over men and families. And I declare right now, according to that which the Lord has shown me, in the name of Jesus, that anyone whose feet is being tied in the same position, right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, right now something is happening to people. 
I decree, I decree, and I declare. Let there be liberty now. Inside, outside, let there be liberty. Right now. Let there be liberty, liberty. I command progress to your life. Move forward. I push you by prophecy. Move forward. Make progress. Move forward. Make progress. I forbid stagnation. Move forward. Make progress. I don't know how to pray this prayer now. Those who are fine up here can return to their seats. I want to pray a prayer and this will affect a lot of people. You don't have to bring the people out. I found myself pray this prayer again and again and again and again. Almost everywhere I've traveled in the last two to three months, the Lord has mandated that I pray this prayer. And my goodness, the testimonies that have come from this. This is the Lord walking in the midst of his people. That lady is not yet free, my friend. Osha, be discerning. In the name of Jesus, that lady is not yet free. It's a realm of your grace. I can see your mighty power. Moving in this place, we're in the presence of angels with God's glory on their wings. And like the voice of many waters, I can hear the angels sing. You are holy, you are holy, you are holy. Please someone should join the PR can join the ushers protocol can join the ushers I want to pray there is a grace for speed there is an exact grace speed is not progress no no there is a difference between progress and speed I had an encounter with the Lord and he placed this grace upon my life if not that it happened I know there is advancement and I know there is speed but I never knew what it was and how it operated until the Lord gave me an encounter truly let me tell you there is a real grace for speed and when that grace comes on you you will join the world in shock as to what becomes of your life and the Lord wants that grace to come on somebody this night there's someone here that needs this grace this is why you came it's not like you are stagnated but it takes forever if you will believe if you will humble yourself this night and open your spirit you will be surprised I'm going to pray this prayer the reason why I ask some people to join is because every time I pray this prayer people begin to run in the spirit and by the spirit I don't know why it happens that way be sensitive please and then it is of the spirit please don't ask me why it happens that way but if you will let me pray this prayer tonight God can make five years the result of five years to come within even a month 
I know it works. When you have this grace on your life, you don't fear delay. It makes no difference. You will gain time within moments. I decree and declare by the privilege of God's grace, I stretch my hands inside, everywhere, overflow, one, two, three, online. Father, I pray right now, let the grace for speed at the count of three come upon someone. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. I shift you. Speed. 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 Speed to your spiritual life. Speed to your finances. Speed in ministry. Speed in business. Speed upon your influence. This is a major answer to your prayer. I declare it again. Speed. Speed. Receive it. Receive it. It is not by might nor by power, but by the Spirit of God. You can be picked up upon the wings of the Spirit and do things that eyes have not seen, that ears have not heard. I pray it again. Those outside receive it. Those outside receive it. I declare speed. In the similitude of Elijah, you will run and you will overtake the chariots of Ahab. Hallelujah. 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 We are going to pray. We have to redeem time. There is a lot to do. Your wife started a journey in the spirit. I'm seeing a prophetic progression in her life. There is a prophetic mantle that is searching for her. It's begun gradually. This woman you are seeing, as frail as she may look, but the hand of God will come upon her and she will speak forth the purposes of God with power. I stretch my hands upon you and I pray that the Spirit of God will perfect. Let there be a bathing, a bathing of the things that He has begun upon your life. A betting of the things that he has begun my friend come this man we may not have time to prophesy to people there's a lot to do lift your hands I don't know you you are coming from somewhere and there are two graces that God is bringing upon your life number one is for your own benefit restoration that's what I hear number two this speed that you see I prayed for is coming upon you I stretch my hands may that grace in the name of jesus first for restoration let there be a restoration of everything the devil has stolen and then i declare speed you receive it now move forward go forward in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there's an elderly woman here called rebecca 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 if we talk to people the time will be gone we have to honor it so that we can do some other things who is that rebecca please when you find the person i want to talk to her in the name of jesus christ we're going to pray for the sick Kai. This woman is outside. You are not inside. You are wearing a, a red like wrapper on your head. The same with what is down on you. Conf Confirm it. Mama, your name is Rebecca. Where are you? From outside? I will pray for you now. I don't know you. I've never seen you, but I want to pray for you. The Lord is going to honor you. I decided to take a pause because... Um, the Lord just asked me to stand here. That's why I'm standing here. I'm standing here because I saw something that looked like a bird just come out of someone right here like this. Just like that. Just out of someone. 
this is what I saw in the name of Jesus release this family now release this family now in the name of Jesus Christ madam I'll pray for you your name is Rebecca too please come I will pray for you I found the person I'm ministering to but I'll pray for you from where madam from where from area C area C yes sir. I want to pray for you what's wrong with your back back pain this is what it's I'm seeing. True. You it's get up true, in the morning true. And, true. and then you feel a lot yes, of pain. Sometimes yes. you cannot even wash. Yes, yes. Number two, your chest too. Yes, it's true. Severe it's chest true. around the breast yes, region. Yes, yeah. it's true. The Lord it's is setting true. you free it's right now, madam. Yes, in the name of Jesus, let it be over right now and forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I just had like a car crash in my ears. You know how an accident just happens right now. This is what I just had in my ears. And that the family that that should happen for is in this place. I'm going to pray right now. Be free now. I command death. You are a spirit. I judge you by the God of heaven. And to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage I want to pray for you madam in the name of Jesus Christ that God himself will bless you and not only bless you where are your children madam huh Thank you. Your children are here. Yes. Where are they? Patient. Isaac. Patient and Isaac. And Sarah. This may be the last word and then we have to pray for the sick. There's a lot. Patience and Isaac. Yeah. Now only know they here. Let me just pray for you. If, if you are the only one who can represent them. Stand up please my friend. Mama I will pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Because I'm seeing a very major breakthrough coming to this family. The Lord himself is bringing it to a very major breakthrough. I have no business saying anything God did not tell me. I've not prayed the prayer yet, yet you are receiving it. It's the grace for favor. The grace for favor. The grace for favor. This man will be like a well-watered garden. That the favor of God will call him Beulah and Hephzibah. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, Ma. Please hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, the breakthrough that the Lord shows me, let it come and come speedily. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are her daughter? Let me pray for you, my dear. In the name of Jesus Christ, they will not say there is something in your stomach growing. Huh? I'm rebuking something they will not tell you that there is a growth that is growing in your stomach I just laid my hands and God is healing someone in overflow one oh, please hold on there is a growth there is a growth there is a growth this has been characterized by extremely painful your period is extremely painful but more than that there is a growth just around your abdominal area overflow one you don't have to come out the power of god is touching that person right now in the name of jesus christ my dear in jesus name by the spirit of the living god we declare your liberty complete total final in jesus name i pray praise the lord now we're going to pray for the sick Praying for the sick takes a lot of time. Our time is already gone. I, I bless God that there are a number of hands tonight. Now, listen, we believe in the power of God to touch people, to lift people. And most times you would notice in my external ministrations, I don't have time to minister to people one by one. But because this is a miracle service dedicated for that.
the lord has honored us to be a light on this wise in this city and it is important that we're fair enough to just allow the power of god extend to people we'll do it very fast um all of the overflows all of the overflows i would request that you just move those trusting god for healing particularly please i would request that you move to the front of your projector screen that's where you are going to be prayed for um the ones that spill over do i call that overflow five now i will just request you to be patient we're going to assign a person or two there to minister to you but overflow four three two one and right in here you are here you came standing in for someone or standing in for yourself please make your way out here very quickly and let's trust the god of heaven to set you free you are here full of faith please stand up please stand up if you kneel there will not be space just come stand it doesn't matter you don't have to come in if you're outside just go to your overflow please hallelujah myself alongside the men and the women of god represented here will be praying for you look how many people are trusting god to touch them hallelujah now please you don't have to ask anybody to prophesy or speak just let them minister to you if there is need to speak any words they will let you know praise the lord there are so many people this night and so we'll do our best so we can gain time and just just line everybody here and then we'll pray for you praise the lord Pray for just be patient and allow the men of God minister to you while that is happening our time is already gone please stretch your hands if you've not submitted your request um, you can just wave it and someone will pick it up from you especially for those outside you're yet to submit your request just stretch your hands right here and let us agree this hold on please this is not religion this is not tradition this is not a ritual this is a mystery it's a revelation let us not get used to doing this just as a ritual for the miracle service because when we have the form without the power then it will not bless us there have been many many wonderful testimonies that have come out from here and um, since I'm the only one here, let the men of God minister to you. If you are still being ministered to, just focus on the ministration. But then for all others, just stretch your hands towards me. And let's agree that these Egyptians we see today, that we will see no more. Please agree. Release your faith and believe we are praying. We may not be able to prophesy to you personally. We may not be able to give you a word of knowledge. But this is a representation of your heart, your pain, your desire, your expectation. The Bible says, and thine expectation shall not be cut short. Stretch your hands and let's agree. There is a God that answers prayers. Shabaradagatavarakotos. Is someone praying online pray the overflows pray father we declare we're declaring as the church we're releasing and anointing the divine power of God upon these requests some of these requests are death sentences some of them are humanly impossible situations but unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come Zakosh Kamaranda Kaparuza Zekataparia Katalakosia Jekes Kebranda Katopra Asada Katabala Dabaka Rekete Katabarada Bakato Barato Zaziana Kata Shkalabaranda Kaparuza Ziana Kata In the name of Jesus we declare upon these requests a representation of the tears and the pain of your people we decree and we declare Makratos kalambre de keparuzas yakata bradias. 
ile pereto zazia katabaranda gadash kritos kalabarakata balada bush shalabaranda kapurus likete kete kete barada bash we decree and we declare manda prados kaziza hash kalabaranda kata Arise for your people. By the abundance of your mercy, give your people testimonies in the name of Jesus. Jiprakatos, Kalabarakata. Believers pray, we are agreeing. Likato Janana Katabarados. Jabros Katabaranda Kata. Supernatural manifestations of your power. Supernatural manifestations of your power supernatural manifestations of your power Lord in the name of Jesus we declare supernatural walkings of miracles tonight we declare healing miracles we declare miracles of provisions we declare miracles of jobs we declare sentences of death are broken in the name of Jesus, we declare supernatural interception, angelic interventions tonight. We declare diverse kinds of miracles, diverse walkings of miracles. In the name of Jesus, we declare creative miracles. We call new organs, we call new jobs, we call for children. We call for deliverances of families. We declare miracles on every side. Let tears of family be wiped away. In the name of Jesus. We declare diverse testimonies tonight. By the workings of miracles. By the divine power of God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Father. Father, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your, the heavens are open in the name of Jesus. We thank you for creative miracles. We thank you for money miracles. We thank you for supernatural deliverances. We thank you, Lord, for manifesting your power. We thank you for miracle babies. We thank you for miracle job. We thank you for special miracles. Father, Lord, we thank you. For the manifestation of the world you have decreed over our lives. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we receive answer to every prayer request here tonight in the name of Jesus. We receive answers tonight in the name of Jesus special miracles uh, in the name of Jesus diverse kinds of testimonies uh, in the name of Jesus angelic interventions uh, in the name of Jesus supernatural supplies uh, in the name of Jesus great open doors uh, in the name of Jesus we give you praise oh God uh, in Jesus name we are prayed Amen. Amen. Let's give Jesus praise. We agree that as we have declared, it is done in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Our time is gone. Please give me two minutes. We must do the impartation. We have been fasting. We have been praying. And we have trivialized impartation in the body of Christ. We are always looking for people to lay hands on. Always looking for people to prophesy on. So every time we talk about an impartation, there is hardly an expectation. But a real impartation brings result. You can carry something now that you did not come here with. Please believe. An impartation is not just an anointing for ministry. I told you it's a transference of possibilities. Praise the Lord. So in the next two, three minutes, please let your heart be opened. You don't have to bring anybody out under the anointing. Just guide them, but please receive. Please receive. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. 
no matter the quality of your secret place you will need impartation there are possibilities in your life that cannot evolve just from your secret place you will need to tap into the provision that has been vested in the body hallelujah i pray in the name of jesus the grace you don't have to kneel please you don't have to kneel the grace that makes for a new level of visions people have lost visions in the body of christ we tell lies that we are seeing but we are not seeing anything father the eyes that see genuine visions let there be a restoration let that mantle fall upon someone right now in the name of jesus christ the eyes that can see into the realm of the spirit the ears that can hear the sound of the spirit receive it now in the name of jesus that prophetic river locked up within your spirit in the name that is above all names the grace for the prophetic in a new dimension who is this grace coming upon mabato jabarakata embreketeta upon all flesh he says i will pour out my spirit receive that anointing now in the name of jesus i believe in miracles and i believe that there is a distinct grace for signs and wonders i'm stretching my hands i'm seeing a dove this is what i'm seeing just like a bird hovering round. in the name of jesus christ upon as many whose hearts are open father the anointing the real anointing for signs for wonders inside outside especially upon men and women of god i decree and declare let this grace for signs and wonders fall upon you now in the name of jesus fall upon you now for your church for your fellowship for your prayer group i say it again for your church for your fellowship for your prayer group receive it in the name of jesus the spirit of wisdom there is a spirit of wisdom it says does not wisdom cry wisdom speaking says with me are uh, it says by me kings reign and princes decree justice it says with me are uh, riches wealth and honor yea durable riches and righteousness I declare the grace to know what to do is called the spirit of wisdom the grace to know what to do let it come upon you right now let it come upon you right now let the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now let the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now please help those under the anointing talabarus kanamahashanas i want to release favor the grace that can make a king say up to half of my kingdom there is a grace for favor i testify to you people of the living god there is a grace for favor it is not of him that run it nor of him it is not of him that that um run it what's the scripture we net not of him that run it but of the lord that showed mercy he said thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion and the reason why you have mercy is because the time to favor her yea the set time favor will take away hardship from your life not just financially even spiritually i decree and declare receive the grace for favor it's coming upon you receive the grace for favor receive the grace favor in ministry favor in business favor in ministry favor in business favor in ministry favor in business 
in the name of Jesus every geography has its favor may the favor associated with your geography if it was on the rocks the king built on the rocks it was an advantage if it was the sea they channeled the water for productivity every territory has access to favor i declare that the favor a portion for your territory let it rest upon you right now i want to pray for the spirit of revelation to make all men see the fellowship of this mystery let me tell you this i confess to you sincerely under god that by the privilege of god's grace i'm a student of the word but i can tell you this no matter how frequent you read this there is a spirit that must come on you for your eyes to see otherwise sometimes you will see but what you will see is error sometimes what you will see will deceive you i'm praying for you we need revelation we need revelation we need revelation we need revelation some of you started with a rich deposit of this spirit but as it is right now you open scripture and you don't see anything all you continue to do is copy the messages of men of god verbatim i declare that a unique grace for revelation let it rest upon you right now access inside access inside access inside into the mysteries of the kingdom this is the year of extraordinary fruitfulness i believe there is a grace for wealth i believe it i believe there are principles for wealth i believe there are understandings that can bring resources but i believe there is a grace there is an exact spiritual grace that works by causing men to come with their blessings when that grace came upon saul three men holding two loaves of bread each saluted him and gave him one in the name that is above all names in this season that god has ordained for the body that in addition to the prosperity of our souls in addition to understanding influence and the principles of spiritual transformation let the grace that can cause a man to rise and become as strong as a nation financially may that grace rest upon you may that grace rest upon you may that grace rest upon you in the name of jesus i believe there is a grace that shields men from destruction he said destroy it not for there is a blessing in it don't touch this one there is something upon it i decree and declare let the mark that exempts men from terrorism from kidnapping from assassination from accidents the grace that exempts receive it right now for you and for your family receive it right now receive it right now i declare that whatever you have lost coming here it doesn't matter how long please believe release your faith right now in the name of jesus christ I command a sevenfold restoration. I command a sevenfold restoration. Restoration of anointings, of money, of ideas, of relationships, of access, of illumination. In the name of Jesus. I pray for every ministry represented here whatever has clamped your wings so that your influence cannot spread beyond certain borders i declare by the power of the spirit shift to a new dimension shift to a new dimension of teaching of the miraculous of the demonstration of the spirit in the name of jesus christ i will multiply them they will not be small I will glorify them they will not be few whatever keeps you small in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that power is broken over you now all those
those trusting God for jobs here. You are trusting God. You have agreed with God and said, Lord, said to me, give me an honorable job. I release my faith with you and I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that by this time next month, let it please the Lord that you return with testimonies. Let me pray for those in business. Father, the grace that came upon Tyre and Sidon, that made them to be called the marketplaces of the earth, I decree and declare that the spirit, not only of innovation, but the mastery to exchange your value, the grace, the fortitude to know how to exchange your value such that you are rewarded. May that grace come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to every dying business here. Hear the word of the Lord. Come alive now in the name of Jesus. Everyone trusting God for the fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus, whether for you or for your loved ones, we agree by the power that put Jesus in the womb of Mary. In the name that is above all names, it's called the power of the highest that can put a seed in the womb of a woman and keep that seed until it delivers. May that grace and that power come upon you now. We cause barrenness. We cause impotency. In the name of Jesus. Whoever has what it takes to favor you. The Bible says, withhold not good from them that is due when it is within your power. I declare, whoever has the power to support you, the power to help lift you, we compel them by the Spirit to favor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray in the name of Jesus. We are rounding up the prayer and fasting many of you have stretched your capacity spiritually i declare the fire of prayer that can burn an incense and cause it to reach heaven in the name of jesus every attack on your prayer life let the seven lampstands of your prayer life be lit back right now in the name of jesus christ receive the grace to travel receive the grace to pray any evil and wicked company and association around your life you are not free till your association is free i declare to you you may be nice, but you are surrounded by wicked people who do not fear God. I declare a separation between you and the wicked. I declare right now divine direction for people who are saying Lord what is the next step in this season should I stay here or should I go the Bible says and thine ear shall hear a voice listen let me tell you one mistake to miss the will of God can cost you years before you return I declare accuracy of perception in the name of Jesus Christ that the God of heaven will give you peace by all means in the name of Jesus the last prayer point and we are done thou shall anoint Aaron and his sons and thou shall put upon him some of your honor honor is a grace it is transferable honor can be put upon a man 
in the name of Jesus Christ it says therefore God even thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows this is not in a competitive manner but I pray for you the grace that distinguishes men from the crowd may that grace rest upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus let it be from tonight that miracles and testimonies that you have never seen in your life we release them listen listen Noah released the door from the ark after the rain it returned back as proof that it did not have a resting place then he waited a while and returned and it came back with a little olive an almond tree an olive plant as a sign that life was restoring he sent it back the third time and it did not come back again this is how testimonies are they can be sent and they return because the condition for them to stay is not there and then they return again and say the anointing is now being introduced in that life and by the third time they are ready to be established i pray for you every long-standing testimony that has already been released from the throne and for whatever means has refused to be established in your life i declare right now in the name of jesus let that testimony manifest in your life now let that testimony manifest in your life now anyone that says over his dead body for you to succeed may god answer their prayer in the name of jesus christ and i pray for all of those who have come from far i agree with you i release my faith whether for the miracle service tonight or all through the prayer and the fasting i agree the same way moses tabernacled upon the mount and returned with the radiance of the glory upon his face return with the grace to prove that you met god return with the testimonies that prove that you met god return with the signs the wonders the transformation the illumination return with the evidences of an encounter in the name of jesus let's give jesus a big hand clap thank you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah praise the lord our time is gone i sincerely apologize but we thank the Lord for the encounter tonight. You will live to testify. Very quickly, please let's, let's settle down. Very quickly, please just help that woman so she doesn't injure anyone. There are people here. Please listen. Overflow one, two, three, four online. There are people here who probably have been attending the conference or just came in here tonight. And whilst you heard me teach, and whilst you saw the things that the Lord did in this place, the Holy Spirit began to convict you that you need Jesus. Jesus is not an idea. Jesus is not something and someone you can do without. I believe with all my heart that, and please prepare to clear the way for them. Overflow one, two, three. If you are at the door, please shift. There are people here under the sound of my voice who are saying, Apostle, if you will make an altar call, I need Jesus. I need him desperately I need him truly there are others who are saying I love Jesus but for whatever reason I need a restoration and I need my life back with him whether you belong to any of these categories please inside and outside I'm only going to count five don't be ashamed don't be afraid I want you to leave your seat very boldly and come and stand here it will be my joy and delight to lead you to Jesus don't wait for someone to come before you be the first I'm counting one come quickly come quickly koinonia let's honor them let's motivate them as they come please clear the way for those who are coming from outside two apostle I'm, I'm not sure if i'm born again or not join them join them join them 
join them. I come from a Christian family. Am I born again? No, sir. Join them. I have very good friends. Am I born again? No, sir. Join them. The Lord is still talking to someone. I would want to come, but I'm afraid of my friends and those we came with. Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me before men, he said, I will be ashamed of you before my father. I believe the Lord is still speaking to a few people. If you're coming, please come quickly. Young, old, make your way. Let tonight be your night of salvation. He says, in the day that you hear his voice, do not harden your heart like they did in the provocation in the wilderness. Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Hallelujah. If there are any ones coming, just allow them to quickly come. I appreciate every one of you for making this bold decision. Please mean it sincerely and truthfully. Lift your right hand and say after me, believing that Jesus is here. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you and I believe in you that you are the Son of God. Tonight, I receive your life. I receive your grace and i declare please help them and i declare that salvation is mine new life is mine from today till forever jesus is my savior is my lord is my friend i receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and i declare that I reign in life. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for 